Hey everybody, this is Colby with Kowalski Does, and today we are going to be talking about lithophanes, and more importantly, a nightlight lithophanes. This is one that I recently created. Uh, I created on uh, itslitho.com, um, and I've got it dark in here so that way we can see, and I've got a flashlight. So there's your it's a beautiful beach picture with a tree. There's even a little boat in there. Let's see if we can get this a little closer for you. So these are great. Around Christmas time, I sold tons of these. I um, was actually able to buy a second printer and turn out even more. So around Christmas time, people love those. So it's got a little spot back here for it to hold the nightlight. I use these nightlights. They have um, sensors on them. So when it's dark, they turn on and they're plugged in and they just sit there in the wall and they're great. Now, on this website, it's Litho, you are actually able, let me screw you up here, there's the nightlight preview, and here is the photo that I'm using. Beautiful color photo. You've got your browns, your blues from the, from the sky, and your whites and your greens from the tree, and when you bring it over here, you get one of these. They're great, but... A great thing with uh, It's Litho is you're able to add color. So when you go in here, you create it. You got your your arc and your height and your angle and your frame option. And then over here, there's a little option where you can nightlight. Where if you click it, see, it takes away the nightlight. If you click it on, it makes it a nightlight. And then what it does is when you put in your photo, so you can edit your photo, you upload, see? So here's your photo and then your model. Bring it up here. It's gonna change everything. So see, there's your nightlight. And then what it does is when you click to uh, put it into an SLT file, is it prints this out for you. It gives you this. Now, this is your image. Um, so what it does is it mutes the colors a little bit. So that way, when you print it out, you get something like this. So what you do is when you take it, sorry for the shaking, trying to get the tripod here. And you take this and you put it behind here. I left this up here so I can just grab it. I haven't trimmed it all the way. So now... You've got a color with a fame. And this will be a little beach nightlight that'll go in our hallway. Uh, my son's got a Paw Patrol one and uh, just makes it nice. You can do these with basically any photo and you just print out these on just regular, um, I've just got a Canon uh, inkjet printer here and it just prints that out. And then what you can do is when you get this right and you trim this part off here, Take a little glue stick. People use adhesive, a spray adhesive, Mod Podge. Um, people have taped them on there if they want to take it off. What you do is just take your, your glue stick, I haven't done it yet, and just put it on right there. Make sure you trim the top. And uh, it's easy to do, it's better to do this with a light behind so that way you can kind of line up everything. And then you just press it down and glue it on and then you've got a color what's a fame and i do the night lights and people love these things i mean i've done dogs sports teams babies weddings all sorts of stuff um you know loved ones that have passed on and you want them in your hallway so you can see them in the middle of the night whatever you want you can do these people love these and then you can also on that uh let me pull it up here, that website. There are a ton of options. So if you didn't want the nightlight, so here, let's turn the nightlight off. Okay, so now it's just a regular curved. Um, we can go up to the top here and instead of arc, you can have a cylinder. And it will update it right while you're on it. So see, now this it's just a cylinder. Lithophane. They've got a sphere. So like if you wanted to do like a moon shaped one, or if you have one of these type of light bulbs, 
um, our lights in your house, you can put that up there. Uh, let's see here. They got a pumpkin. Let's see what that one's about. Oh, it makes it orange. And then, like, say if you do like a plane, which is just a straight one. It's still in pumpkin mode. I don't know why. But you can, um, material colors, change that back to white from pumpkin to white. Okay. And then you can even let's move the light. backlighted. Make the light color white. You can enable like a lamp. And you can actually put like a light bulb right there. So people do all sorts of crazy things with them. They've made them ceiling fan holders, all sorts of things. Uh, people take Ikea lamps, um, the one where it has the bulb that comes up this way and then even the bulb that goes over. Um, that lamp shade, you can 3D print into an image and then have uh, a lithophane lampshade in your room uh, or a ceiling fan holder or whatever. I mean, the possibilities are endless. It's a great little uh, website and it's uh, it's litho, I-T-S-L-I-T-H-O.com and I will link it in the video. And uh, so let me know what you thought about the color litho for the nightlight here. I mean, everybody's been dealing with COVID and all that. Who wouldn't want to sit here and stare at a picture of the beach? So... I also did a um, time lapse of this print. It was actually, this print was a little bit bigger than I normally do because I wanted to get a lot of extra detail in here for the video. Um, this one was a 12 hour print on my Ender 5. Um, I did a time lapse. If you'd like to see that, I will put that at the end of the video. So once I stop talking, I say goodbye. If you want to stay on, stay on, watch the uh, time, uh, time lapse and let me know what you thought. Have a great day.